quite often, a lot of people criticize Isekai and other battle shonens for being power fantasy, what the male audience want. And these dudes are usually a bunch of dudes that watch rom-com. And I think that a show like this is the perfect example of what a true power fantasy is. You don't have to do anything, baby. A mentally ill girl will show up at your doorsteps asking for a job and you say no, she gonna be suicidal. She has such emotional baggage that if you're not affectionate, if you don't try to treat her like your girlfriend, she gonna end herself. This is the perfect setup for the perfect power fantasy. And beyond the memes, I think that the production value, just everything about the show, it looks like whoever's adapting this is very uh, loyal to the uh, source material. They're putting a lot of love into it, a lot of care, a little detail of attention. I, I do really appreciate that. Looking like this is gonna be our diabetes show of the season. Let's check out episode two. Oh. Burst. What is this flashback? It's the same rush I used to feel when facing a few dozen enemies at once. You, you, you got a rush out of taking a dozen dudes at once? Is that what you're trying- No, she's not saying that. What was this frame over here, though? What is this? It's him realizing that he's gonna get hit by a train, right? Yeah, it's him, it's him, it's him. Maybe not a train, truck-kun. The same truck every time. And then the truck called us out. And that's why she'll be here for us, man. That animation. Smart. Surface area reduction. Miss Servant. Yo, control. Where is the woke localizers when you need it? Yo, why, why are the lo woke localizers putting in Miss Servant rather than Miss Maid? What the fuck? I, I thought the woke localizers are all about removing the, the bad words, right? No, it can't be master and servant. It gotta be master and something else, but uh, okay. We, we, just, we just sliding in servant there. Okay. You want to know. Know what? <gasps> we got a pet? A letter from the pet owner? <laughs> Those type of people needs to be executed. Bro, you bought a pet thinking that it was a different breed, then you fucked up, then you leave it on someone else's house? Dude, this is another life you're messing around with. Like, this is a nice, you know, uh, way for us to get like a pet, but... Dude, people like this actually exist in the real world. And it's not even just with pets. People do that shit with their own infant kids. Irresponsible idiots accidentally reproduce and do this shit too, man. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Even if it's small. That deep. It's not that deep. I just want a cute dog. But it's looking like this is her backstory, huh? It's looking like this is her backstory. As long as the desire to live is strong enough. I don't know, there's three other people here. There's two other people here, right? She's probably in the middle. Wonder if this is potentially her siblings? I'm not sure. Presumably other girls like that with long hair. Damn. A lot of emotional baggage. I think she's talking about herself right now. I don't know. Some vulnerable beings are doomed to die in the wild. What did she say before? An existence that is not needed by anyone. She's, she constantly talks about like, Am I really not needed by anyone? I have no purpose. No, the dog is the same as you. We're both gonna take you in and we're going to do mental therapy. Projecting her- <laughs> Look at this poor dog! 
It's this fucking traumatized maid. Soul projects her trauma into the fucking dog. Oh. I mean, I took you and why can't I take a dog in? I want to save someone else's too. Desire to be needed. Does she even know that though? She's been taught to be such a murder robot. Uh, parents? He's been left behind by parents in this fucking luxury mansion where he just does whatever he wants. I don't know. There's, there's some there's some hints here that he has some issues with abandonment. I don't know. Okay. So, who's the dog's voice actor? I need to know this actually. Kimi wa Meido sama and Arts. Who is the dog's voice actor? This is gonna be funny. Characters. Just to show you guys that I'm not bullshitting. Okay? Just just to prove that I'm not bullshitting here. Age Mochitaru. This is her. Erika Matsui. Her other prominent roles. Let's see. She literally, I, I, I'm always so fascinated by people who just like voices dogs to make like sound effects, right? Uh, I don't know. Data Live, Artemisia. She was Artemisia in Data Live, guys. The fuck? Random, but that, that, that's a cool fact, I guess. Um, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Mob Psycho, Emmy. Uh, I kind of remember that character. Uh, Data Live, Artemisia again. I don't know any of these. I guess, you know, she's not getting those A-list, you know, celebrity roles, but not anyone can. Any other characters that I know? Poco, she played Poco? <laughs> Another, like, animal type thing? Any oh, what the? Overlord? Edstrom? Oh my god, yo, who Edstrom at? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, I'm running out of characters that I know, guys. I'm running out. That's about it, but, uh, yeah. There are people that get paid to go wah, wah, wah. That's pretty fun. Is she afraid of dogs? She doesn't like dogs at all, huh? Maybe she got bit by one. I'm gonna guess that a bunch of dogs were like used to like train her. Not like that, but like as like attack dogs to like, you know, brutalize the girl if she abandoned order or something from the previous assassination job. That's why she's scared. That's even worse than I thought. You just left her in a fucking mountain with a bunch of wild dogs just trained to kill on command. That's crazy. Maybe we should have gotten the cat. She'll overcome her trauma. That dog getting passed around. Okay, let's see it. How is she holding it? Oh, look how fluffy he is. Everything. Ooh. He is. It is a big fluffy mochi. What's she thinking? Yeah, <laughs> Lick. Oh, 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 bite. <laughs> <laughs> thought she was about to drop the dog, bro. Holy shit. I mean, this does look pathetic, but, you know, I understand why she feel this way. Teething is, like, the young age when they feel the need to, like, grind their, like, teeth against something, right? Also, what the... Oh, look at that corset underneath. Jesus. It's 
it's that map again. They keep showing it. <gasps> so many dogs and cats and birds. Dog cereal. <laughs> Kibbles. While this is for the dog, I can't help but many people probably thinking like me and think that this might be for the girl. Yeah. Oh, look at him. She's so fluffy and thick. <laughs> Random passerby just blushing, looking at maid right now, bro. Take your time, it's only episode 2! And the title drop is I want to know, right? How? Literally just what you're doing. There is no need for you to be here. But you trauma dumped. And now you have such emotional baggage. If we don't like... Like take you in and love you. You're gonna end yourself. So like... You are already doing the job. To make him feel like you are needed. Back at her old job. You need to prove results. Lonely at the top. Holy, look at all that blood. You pretty much did, except you're coming in here with a lot of fucking trauma. Wonder what happened to the other kids and if there could be her sister. Who you really want me to be? What do you mean? I barely know you. I would never. I, and, and this is like her coming to her own conclusions, right? Like she thinks that she's like lesser. She thinks that like she's too weird. And like I wish I'm like this dainty lady that give me like an actual proper mate. But it's like no, that, that's like your own conclusions. I don't think the kid cares. The kids probably just want you to just chill and eat tonkatsu and hang out with the dog, right? You don't. There's no what like version of what he wants you to be. You just be yourself. You gotta ask her parents for that one. Pretty much. No more killing. Not anymore. Go watch the sunset with them, man. Maybe. I want to know! Who wouldn't be? Dog is too fat. He can't squeeze in between the bars, bro! I think she wants to be told that she's a good girl and give head pats. Good girl and head pat combo folds every girl in anime. <laughs> what do you need to be to become a normal girl? First of all, stop asking questions like that. Okay, you, you sound like an alien. Stop asking what it, does it mean to be normal. Just chill the fuck out, hang out with the dog, eat some tonkatsu sauce sauce, and you'll be normal in no time. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's loosened up a bit. Yep. Of course you'd make mistakes if you try something new. 
She's cutting normally now. Wait, 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 what did she say? Wait, wait. It's more efficiently, sure. But the line after that. There's no need to mentally prepare. <laughs> like she's going for the fucking kill. <laughs> she needs to steal her resolve before, you know, donning her assassin knives. But for the cabbage in the kitchen knife, it's chill. You can, you just, just chop, chop, chop. Not really. Her monologue, man. Hey. Aww. Chill. Chill. He's just hungry. I know the feeling of the I wonder how big he's gonna get. Oh yeah, head pat. <laughs> Looks like he just caught her in the doing of something indecent. Chill, he's just petting the dog. <laughs> I love how the dog food, you know, packaging shows like a pretty fit Shiba Inu. And I know it's not the Shiba Inu that we have, but like, it, it, you know, the, 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 the coat's like the same. It's just like, we got such a thick version, bro. Look at that dog poster and then compare it to ours. It's like triple the size. Chonky. That boy. Thick. Agemo. Chitaro. Agemo Chitaro. Nameplay with the mochi. A lot of syllables. We should just call him mochi. <laughs> Intimidating? It's mochi. That was a spin. Wait, 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 Ferocious wild beast, the fangs and claws of death. This is a big step for her, man, even though it's just petting a dog. She loves that shit. All, she, 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 she just, bro, she folds for the compliments so fucking easily because no one's ever complimented her, right? No one has ever given her these words of affirmation before. It's just provide results or die, right? So it's just, again, the perfect setup, the most mentally ill girl possible, devoid of anything that's like wholesome and nice, shows up and he just says, you know, he, he just says the most basic shit and she just gushes. Hi. Now, pet the dog. Very fluffy, huh? Yeah, such fluffy ears. Look at that. This voice actor. Kind of. Yeah, you're a good girl. Rap again, but city nights this time. Cuts the sauce. All right, we're back to tonkatsu. Oh, takoyaki, I think. What's okonomiyaki? It must be basically this like this. It's basically taco but yaki, but without the taco, right? Okonomiyaki. Maybe the inside is just cabbages instead. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese teppanyaki, savory pancake dish consisting of wheat flour batter and other ingredients cooked on teppan. Common ingredients include cabbage, meat, and seafood. Basically, just the fuck is ain't this this fucking? It looks like it's a variant of takoyaki. Then I don't know. It looks the same shit to me. <laughs> that voice acting. <laughs> I think she just loves the sauce most. Everything. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Please, seconds, please give me fucking more. 
More. No, she's gonna get spoiled at this rate. What else do you want? Head pat. She wants to be called a good girl and she wants a head pat while eating the okonomiyaki with the tonkatsu sauce. That's what she wants. Oh, a name? You're Miss Maid. What name? She's born on a snowy day. Yuki. Okay, Yuki means snow. Oh my. <laughs> We're trying to give her a wholesome fucking name, and then the one we pick happens to be the same one that has the same meaning, right? It's not the same name, but the meaning is still snow, bruh. Oresa. Maybe this is like an, uh, a way to like, even though it reminds her of that, those are the bad memories, and now she's basically like taking ownership of it, right? She's like claiming it for herself, and now the meaning of snow is no longer something that's supposed to be bad, but something happy and normal. <laughs> Let's not break the wholesome mood. There's there's no need to nitpick and go into the science behind us. Who gives a fuck? Snow is warm. Because you're warm. <laughs> Because snow is warm. You're, you're warm inside. You have a heart. Your instincts, your human instincts, you're normal. Because the world is the, the inside and you're the snow keeping the world warm. Sure, that's the good analogy with the name. Yeah, we gotta think about that one. How old are you again? I want to know. Oh, a smile. Oh, gonna keep saying it. And that's another episode of Kimi Meido-sama, and it's just basically. You know, you know, she has a lot of mental baggage. She has a lot of trauma and baggage to go through. And it's our job to keep her close and make her feel appreciated and quote unquote normal. How do you define normal at the end of the day? Well, as long as she strays away from the whole cold blood assassin shit, the, you know, uh, the whole murder plot. If she just hangs around with him and just at the dog, I think that she'll become quote unquote more normal. She, her enjoying food is so cute. Her obsession with the tonkatsu sauce. And we got a, a little bit more, I guess, like lore backstory about her being born on like a snowy day. And she has like a negative connotation with the meaning of snow, sue before, but now it's like a Yuki instead. So it's like her like claiming that term snow back for herself. And it's different. It's, instead of being cold, it's supposed to mean warm. And maybe she has some sisters. I'm not sure. There's also some frames that shows her in a maybe Chinese Chipao inspired dress. Even the name Tsue is like Chinese, right? So I think the assassin shit kind of goes to Chinese land. I don't know how the fuck that works out, but would love to know more about her backstory. I'm sure we'll, do it. we'll be getting that. I'm sure every episode is just basically going to be slice of life elements with her having trauma and then him. And then that'll bring up the backstory and more lore. And then him basically just being aloof and dense, but at the same time giving such like concise and simple ways to just like you know solve her problems which he which you know he has been doing so overall just an enjoyable watch plus the animation just looks so beautiful that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care